Hello, this is Joyce, and I am here with another Saturday morning challenge of friends. And as you can see, my desk is fairly junky today. I've been working a long week, you know, busy. And I'm just glad to be home and able to do a little crafting. Our challenge this week was to make postcards. Um, you know, I buy a lot of postcards when I'm traveling and I send to my friends and my kids and stuff when I'm going away, or if, especially if I take a really good trip or I'm gone for a while. Um, so, but you know, I was thinking, I'm like, okay, challenge is postcards. Postcards are so plain and simple, you know? So do I want, what do I want to do? And I thought, well... I first would like to actually use the postcard, you know, make some to use. But the people are going to think that, oh, that's nothing. Probably nobody will watch the video because postcards are simple. And, and it's true, you know. But I can't worry about whether or not people are going to watch as much as I want them to. So I decided to do several uh, different types. Um, we had to make three. And of course, my first one is quite simple. I used this stencil. I used um, some Dilusions ink. And they, they, they are stackable. And they came four to a pack. I wasn't, I mean, I think they're going to be great for stamping. I use this color here, which is Campos uh, Calypso Teal. You know, it comes in the spray, so I use that one. But I do like that they stack, so I really, I was worried about getting one of the Tim Holtz tins for those, but they stack. And that came with a black marble a bubblegum pink oops um what is that dirty martini and that teal but they stack together great you know tack, and so I used that and I inked um actually I used the bubblegum pink also and I used that and I inked it and I thought, okay, but you know, that's the back. It's got to be a postcard. So I have postcard stamps. I have a set, which I have had forever. So this is the first time they've been on ink. And that was from Hampton Arts. And I can tell you I bought those at Tuesday morning one year. And so I ended up using this one. And I stamped there. And as you can see... I uh, made it a postcard, but what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to frame that and add that to my um, to my wall, my inspiration wall. And what it says is live with promise, love with passion, and laugh with pleasure. So I'm going to, this is like almost a five by seven, so I am going to buy me a small, oh, matter of fact, I probably already have one. I'm going to put it in a frame and I'm going to add that one to my wall. And travel, you know, I got some travel stuff I am working on, so I decided to do one um, of family vacation. And what I did with this one was a little different. I have, oh, where did I put it? I had found in my stash, well, I knew I had it, this Heidi Swap Color Magic 12 by 12 paper pack. Uh, I remember buying this years ago. It doesn't say when this came out. But I bought it quite a... Oh, 2012, okay? Heidi Swap. This is the first time I ever heard of Heidi Swap. And it was 2012. I bought it, I'm sure, with 50% sale. And it has several different designs. And those are the designs that were in there. And you spray them. Now you are holding in your hand Color Magic Resist Pattern Papers. With these, you can select your favorite colors of inks, mists, and even paints. 
to customize. So this is something I'm going to leave it out because I do want to play with this some more because uh, I want to spray it. Um, so I took a sheet of that. I cut it in half. I cut it post the 4 by 6 sizes, which a lot of postcards are that size. And this is one of the ones that I cut. I didn't use that one, but I did use a piece with this stripe. And once again, I used that ink. So that is that one. Not only did I ink it, and you can see where it says it resists, and that's probably why the ink was coming off on my hand. So I, mat, I patted it and I rubbed it and stuff. But these embellishments are from my stash. You know, I buy all kinds of travel embellishments. I don't see the little packaging anymore. Oh, here's the rest of them. And I think that was a Jolie set. And it came with packed luggage that even feels like it has clothes. So I have another project I'm going to use that on. So it will be staying out. So once I did the color part for the base, and I stamped the back with my postcard image, made a place for the address and a place to write your message. I double, it has three layers. Um, so, and what I did was, after doing the resist, I just used a couple more pieces cut from that same sheet and just made it thicker. Um, so, but then I took this stamp. I used um, Momenta ink in the black and I stamped it twice to do my background. And it just says it's not the destination, it's the journey. Let's go. Adventure awaits. Travel with a little airplane. Travel into the great unknown. Get on down the road. Explore a rolling stone. Explore. A rolling stone gathers no moss. Visit the world on walkabout. Two roads diverged in a wood. And I bought this stamp and I loved it because it's a background stamp and I'm into travel so I figured it would get a lot of use. I got it at Tuesday morning um, and it don't have a price on it but it was one that they had. It says it was made in 2013 by Momenta. But I bought it at Tuesday morning, maybe a year or so ago. I bought several. I bought Travel, and I bought Friends, and I think there was one more. First time it's had ink on it, of course. So I did that, and like I said, I stamped it twice, blotted it to try to get some of the ink off, and then I used that Jolie, the car, and are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And so I really like how that came out, and I can use that in one of my albums, which is what I plan to do. And then we have this one. The paper I used for this came from the Happily Ever After matte stack. I have had this stack forever, and as you can see, it has fallen apart, and I just picked up one part of it. The papers are really cute. I've used this on my Vegas vacation, the 12x12s and the mat stack. So I just took a couple sheets of this. It's one. And this is a me and my big ideas uh, sticker. It says, do what you love. This bling, all these pearl, it was one piece and I cut it to kind of fit on my card. And as you can see, I ink my edges. You know when paper gets old, that adhesive dried out. And I'm anyway. So that is my second one. This is a Prima flower that I just bought on the clearance section from Hobby Lobby. I bought two, and I may go back and get the rest of them. It was a dollar seventy-nine. It had two flowers, three flowers in there, the blue one, the purple one, and a kind of coral color one. And I'm going to show you that one in a bit. Uh, so that is my second postcard. And I, yes, I did stamp the back and make it look like a postcard. And I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this one, but I have some ideas. So, and I think it'll be good in a rack or something similar, but I like how that one turned out. 
So if you'll give me a minute, I will be back to show you just a little bit more. Hold on. Okay, I am back. And um, I had one more, and I had to stop and take care of something. So I'm back to show you my very last postcard. And okay. And this is that one. And what I used was some of the, me and my big ideas, um, stickers from this pad. And I used a couple of the flowers. As you can see, the colors are kind of perfect. And the paper is from that Happily Ever After matte stack, the same. And I like this piece because in the bottom it has the little fairy. And I found this sticker in that same, um, sticker book and I thought that was just a really cute and that iridescent bling came from a Michaels I don't even think they make these anymore it's the no actually this one came from Hobby Lobby 2013 paper studio gemstones and I liked it because it comes on a roll and I love that iridescent and because of the colors that I chose for this one uh, I decided to go ahead and use it and then I forgot to do my back on this one so now I got to try to do it with all my stuff on it but once again I have a plan for this and I'm going to give it to a, to a friend and I'm going to write a message on here just like I would so I'm going to put the post, post card stamp here and make it look just like the rest on the back and I'm going to write a message to a friend when I send them a little package which I think will be perfect and another one of those Prima flowers I love them and I have decided that I'm going back tomorrow there were about three or four more packages and I'm gonna buy them all because at $1.79 you can't beat the price and they just are so cute and I like the stickers underneath it and because this has embossing here, this one is not really laying down as well as I would like. But I like how they turned out. So, those are my postcards. And I hope you like them. Um, like I said, we were supposed to do three, but I ended up doing four because I just wasn't sure. So thank you so much for watching and I would love it if you'd go by and check out Shantae. And yeah, I know this is a simple one, but hey, we really appreciate all of your support. Uh, so please leave some comments and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, and yeah, come back. We will be back with another one. But go by and check out Shantae because... She was going to work hers to death. She was going to work it. So I can't wait to see what she came up with. Have a good good day, everybody. Uh, happy Saturday to you. And I'll be back. Bye.